Hi everybody. Hi there. Well, this little video is about Louisiana, and all I didn't see that much of it because I stayed at the trailer. Uh, Sandy and I are a couple that believes basically everything kind of happens for a reason, and there was a reason that uh, it turns out that I decided to stay at the trailer while she went out and looked around, and you're going to see that coming up. And basically, what we got had going on is uh, one, one dog turned into two. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, Louisiana was great. I love the name of the little place. Nakatush. Nakatush. How cool is that? I know. The Louisiana architecture was going strong there. Just an awesome place to see. I didn't see it, but she did. <laughs> so you're going to see it coming up. Thanks so much for watching. And if you can see your way clear, please scribe. subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. Just scribe it. Just hit that button down there. Subscribe. Or something like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for your wonderful comments and all that stuff. Uh, please check out our other videos if you haven't already done it. And keep tuned because we got some awesome videos coming up in the near future. Thanks so much for watching and hope you enjoy this little video. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Take care. This travel day takes us from Alto, Texas to Natchitoches, Louisiana. About halfway through our journey, we stopped at this roadside park to make some lunch. This park still has some of the original stone grilling areas that were built back in the 1930s. Pretty interesting. Our camping area was at what's called Custis Camp which is in Kasachi National Forest and what's called the Red Dirt National Wildlife Management Preserve. It's very secluded and we were actually the only ones there the whole time that we were there. The next day, I went exploring while Ed stayed home with General. First, to see the historic downtown area to see some of that awesome New Orleans style architecture. The downtown area looks onto the Cane River and the Cane River Queen Riverboat is available for tours down the river. My next stop was at Oakland Plantation, which is run by the National Park Service and has free admission. Oakland was built in the 1790s by a French Creole family, and there are over 50 historic buildings being preserved on this property. The house is only open for tours on Saturdays and Sundays. Unfortunately, I was there on a Thursday, but I did manage to get some interior pictures through a couple of the windows. Oakland was also used for the filming of the movie, The Horse Soldiers in 1959, starring John Wayne, and some of the family even participated in the filming. My next stop was Magnolia Plantation. This is also run by the Park Service and free to get into. This plantation was built in the 1750s, and although the main house was burned during the Civil War, it was soon rebuilt. It is now privately owned and not part of the Park Service property, but the overseer's house and the store building are open to tour. When I got back home to our trailer, Ed was outside speaking with a man who had pulled in who had a dog tied to the back of his truck. The man explained he found the dog at his camp down the road and he brought him to us because he thought it was our dog. When we told him it wasn't our dog, he said his only choice was to shoot it because he wasn't able to take care of it himself. Oh my goodness, we had to fight to keep our jaws from dropping open. The dog was so friendly and clearly just wanted some attention. 
After Ed and I talked about it for a few minutes, we told the man we would take the dog. So he let her out of the truck bed and drove away. I looked her all over and pulled a bunch of ticks off of her. Then we tried to give her a bath, which didn't go nearly as well as it does with General. When we tried to get her to go into the trailer, she was hesitant, so General came out to show her how to go up the steps. He was very tolerant of her and actually quite helpful. When we got her inside, I started calling vet offices to try and find one where I could take her in right away. We wanted to see if she had a chip and to get all of her shots so her danger to General would be minimized. The first vet office I called answered all of my questions and told us to bring her right in. So we got her in the truck and I headed back into town. They looked for a chip but didn't find one. Then they put us in, the, in, a, in an exam room and when the vet walked in, he knew exactly who she was. He said her name was Marley and she was a great Pyrenees and then he called her owner and explained the story. He checked her over real quick, pulled off some more ticks and we headed back home. Marley's owner would meet us at the trailer to pick her up. When she arrived, I asked her if she was a religious person and she immediately grabbed the cross that was hanging around her neck. I told her there are five vets in town and I took her to the only one who knew who she was. She explained that Marley had been running away a lot lately and that she probably should start hooking her to a lead and we agreed that that would be a really good idea. Even though Marley had only been with us for a few hours, she had gotten into our hearts and we were very sad to see them driving away. The next day, we decided to just stay home to rec recover from the stress of the previous day and the day after that, we continued on our journey and we wish the best to Marley and her family.